Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And this Two Minute Tuesday, I want to talk all about managing members when you're configuring role level security in Power BI. All right, so we get this question a lot. We've been getting this question a lot. It's like, hey, Adam, hey, Patrick, when you're configuring role level security on your data set in Power BI, can you add groups? I go, Gro groups? Okay, um, I go, of course you can add groups. You can also add people. And they go, I know you can add people, but can you add groups? I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right. So instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do. What? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so let's say in the desktop, you've configured this role. So you can see I've configured a role. It's a dynamic role level security. I published the desktop, I published the report and the data set out to the Power BI service. And then over here, in the service so to get there you just go to the data set and you choose security and then it'll bring me to my role level security right so i haven't added anyone but what i can do right i can add people or groups both and so it's easy to add a person you can type their email address so i have this uh, user role level so it's r level or you can type their name right and either one will work and i can add them and it would totally work but what about the groups Right. What about the different types of groups that you can create in Office 365? So there's four groups you can create. So take a look at my admin portal here. So in my admin portal, I've created all the different types and I prefix them with RLS just so to make it easier. Right. So I've created a distribution group, a distribution list, uh, email enabled group, security list, an Office 365 group and a security group. Right. I've created all three. And I've added role level to all three of these groups. OK, and so somebody gives me a call and says, hey, Patrick, we need to give role level access to the report because when he went over to the report and tried to access it. Right, he went in the Power BI, he launched the report and then he got all these little access saying hey you need access that's pretty much what this is saying right you need access and so somebody gave me a call and said hey patrick we've added them to a distribution list or a security group something like that can you give that security group access because everyone in that group will need access to this report and i was like you i can absolutely do that so it makes it easier these groups make it easier when managing people because if you try to if, if there were thousands of people that you need to do this for imagine trying to Oh, somebody left, somebody's new, right? I just add them to the security group, which is part of a bigger part of the organization. And that group's already a part of this role in role level security, just inherently picks it up, right? So they give me this call and they say, hey, Patrick, I need role level to have access to this report um, and anyone else that I add to this group. So since I prefixed everything with RLS, I, I did this intentionally so you can see something, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and type RLS here and you can see three of those groups appear. Which one doesn't appear? The Office 365 group. It is not supported. The security group, the mail enable group, and the distribution list absolutely support it. The Office 365 group is not supported, okay? So I'm on the phone with the administrator. I add the distribution group and I click save. And I say, hey, tell roll level to wait a 10, 10 seconds up to a minute, minute and refresh the report. So he waits, right? Then he goes over to the report and simply refreshes the page. When roll level refreshes the page, guess what? Just like magic, a little pixie dust. There's all the numbers and it's filtered down just to the airline because that's how I set up the dynamic security. It's set up just like that. So this absolutely adding them to a group absolutely supports dynamic security also, right? OK, what do you guys think? Have you ever ran into this before? Do you have any questions about it? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.